Here we have an example. In the circuit shown above, the EMF of the cell E is 2 volt. This is 2 volt. And the internal resistance is negligible. So there's no internal resistance here. The wire AB, this wire AB is 100 cm long and its resistance is 5 ohm. So this AB, wire AB is 5 ohm and 100 cm. The EMF of the cell X, so this EX is uh, 1.5 volt and the internal resistance is 0.8 ohm. So the internal resistance of the below battery is 0.8 ohm. So actually uh, we should draw Here below here there is the there is internal resistance yeah there is internal resistance Rx uh, but this one has no internal resistance at the bat big battery okay what is the length AP when the ground meter is balanced so what is the length AP balance length okay and the information just now I already gathered here so we have uh, all this information here. EMF, EMFX, internal resistance, length, resistance, AB. Okay, so how to do? So we must always redraw the, the diagram. Okay, uh, don't forget here we have um, we have uh, internal resistance for uh, RX. This is a uh, EX. Okay. So uh, this is uh, actually this is a small battery. Okay. So VAB is uh, the big battery EMF, and VAP is for EX. Ah, why only EX? Why RX is not included? Why? Yeah, because why? Because the ground meter is balanced. When ground meter is balanced, the current, uh, the car, there's no current. When ground meter is balanced, there's no current. So Rx is uh, like Rx IR, when current is zero, IR also equal to zero. Ah, so that's why the voltage AP, voltage AP is only equal to EX alone. Okay. Uh, right. So, um, so VAP equal to EX because IR zero. Then we put the ratio formula LAP over LAB equal to VAP over VAB. So we just uh, substitute all the information LAB, uh, EX, and E into it. Then we can find the length. The balance length AP is 75 cm. Okay. Now, if you connect a 1 ohm resistor in series with the cell E, then what is the new balance length AP? Okay, if if you have the external resistor here, then we can apply the ohms law. So, uh, yeah, the top the top here there is uh, current. Okay, there is current at the top position. Here you have current provided by the big battery. Okay, here. Yeah. But below here, balance length. When balance length is achieved, there's no current at the at the at the bottom. Uh, so of course, uh, this uh, I R also equal to zero. Yeah. Uh, okay. So. Okay. So the top here we can apply Ohm's law. So EMF equal to current times resistance R plus resistance A B. Okay. Uh, then put in the information, we got the current that flows in the top circuit. Okay. Then uh, VAB, what is VAB? VAB is current I times resistant AB. Times resistant AB. Uh, so we use the current just now, we put in uh, resistant AB and we get the voltage for VAB. Okay, and then VAP, we also need to get VAP. Okay, VAP is equal to uh, EX. Uh, it's equal to EX. Uh, uh, why, why, why doesn't minus the uh, 
poten apa the uh, potential drop there's there's no potential drop across the internal resistance okay because no current so i r equal to zero so v a p is only equal to e x okay uh, so 1.5 and the ratio formula uh, length okay uh, the ratio formula as usual, put in the value, suggest that we get the VAP 1.5, VAB is 5 over 3, let's put in, then we can get the balance length. Question C. If the 1 ohm resistor is transferred from being in series with EMF E to being in series with cell X, okay, as you can see here, just now the big resistor here transferred below. Uh, to be in series with EX, yeah? R, R equal to 1 ohm is here now. So what is the new balance length? Okay. VAB, VAB, the whole wire is equal to EMF E. Whereas VAP is only equal to EX. So the small R and big R does not affect at all. Where, where are they? Okay, so again, uh, I want to emphasize the point here. When the when the balance length is achieved, yeah. So this current equal to zero. So at the bottom circuit, there is no current. Yeah, at the bottom circuit, there is no current passing through the small r and the big r. So these two, yeah, r i r equal to zero. I big R also equal to zero. Huh. So the VAP, VAP is equal to EX only. Okay? Ah. So VAP is only equal to EX. So because uh, these two, there's no current passing through. So there's no potential drop across the small R and also no potential drop across the big R. Uh, so EVAP equal to EX. And as you can see, this uh, example, VAP equal to E, VA, VAP equal to E, VAP equal to EX, it is similar to the question A. VAP equal to E, VAP equal to EX is similar. Yeah? The balance length is 75. So for this question C, the balance length also 75. Now, the last question, D. If the 1 ohm resistor now is connected in parallel with the cell X, uh, just now the big resistor R, now transferred below again uh, to be in parallel with EX, so what is the new balance length? Uh, so for this case, VAB as usual equal to EMF E, which is 2 volt. Uh, how about VAP? VAP now you see now here at the bottom here that it is a complete circuit ah, so there is current flow at the bottom here now there is current flow at the bottom so bottom here there is current flows uh, I2 This I2 passes through big R and also I2 also passes through the small r. Yeah? Ah, there is current flows now. So here you have I R, uh, here you have I small r. Okay. So now VAP is no longer equal to EX, but EX minus V small r got potential drop across internal resistance because now got the, the internal resistance got current passing through. Okay? Uh, or VAP also equal to, again, I want to emphasize this one, uh, VAP, yeah, you see this one, VAP is actually parallel, parallel to bottom here, V big R. Huh. So, VAP equal to V big R. So, V big R is actually how to calculate VR, V big R. It is I2 times 
uh, resistor R. Uh, current I2 passing through the big resistor. Uh, this I2 is provided by EX. Okay, so I2 times R. Uh, and how to find I2? Uh, below here, we can build another Ohm's law equation. EX equal to I2 times big R plus Rx, so the small r. Uh, Ohm's law equation. Yeah? The, the circuit below here can build an Ohm's law equation. And we get the I2. Uh, the I2 can substitute here. And the big R is 1 ohm. Uh, we, so we can get the VAP. Uh, and then lastly, we apply the ratio formula. Length AP over length AB equal to VAP over VAB. Uh, VAP is 5 over 6. And VAB is 2 volt. Two volt. Then we can get the length AP as 41.66 cm. That's it. Thank you.